everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be going a little deep into Scorpion. And he is one of my favorite science champions currently. Quicksilver is another one, you know, and I do have some other uh, science that I like. Uh, but Scorpion, I don't know what it is. I like him. So let's take a look at his uh, attributes here. All right, you can see his health, uh, his attack rating up there. You know, all that good stuff here. Block proficiency is very good. That's a pretty high block proficiency. If you watch some of the others, you know, you can expect like in the 60s or so. But he not only has this high block proficiency, but also a high armor rating. So he is tough as you would expect from a scorpion. Okay, let's uh, take a look at his synergies. And when I look at synergies, I try to look at who the synergy partner is as well as what the synergy is to kind of get an idea of how useful I think it'll be. So with Iceman, who is about to get a buff, the final hit of special attack two inflicts a stun on the opponent, stunning them for three seconds. So that can translate into more damage. So you fire your special two, and then you can go right into uh, another five hit combo. So that can be useful for increasing your damage potential. Uh, we've got Spider-Man 2099, who is an awesome champion. Four times. Okay. Anyway, a uh, little inside joke. Uh, when I was going for Hercules uh, in the featured, I kept pulling this guy, and I got him four times out of all of my tries and didn't get Hercules once. Uh, but anyway, uh, if Scorpion Sense is active and Scorpion is stunned, Scorpion's evade ability accuracy increased to 100%. So that is really nice. I think that seems to remind me a little bit about... Um, of. Quicksilver, you know, when he's stunned, if he has it, if it's not on cooldown or anything, he'll evade. Well, this looks like it will give Scorpion uh, a similar reliability on uh, his evade. Uh, and here we go with Spider-Ham. Some people like Spider-Ham still better than Scorpion. Spider-Ham is another one of my favorite science champions. Who do I like better? I don't really know. Um, Spider-Ham is easier to use, I believe. Um, but it seems like Scorpion is a bit more versatile. But you guys can decide. 25% uh, chance to inflict sting debuffs on light attacks. That is really nice. That right there, I will... If I'm if I'm making a team around Scorpion, this is definitely one that I would uh, bring along, uh, and I'll probably bring along um, Mr. Fantastic and She-Hulk as well. All right, so these two guys down here, Stealth Spidey and um, I guess that's I have a hard time sometimes telling, but I guess that's Stark Spidey. Um, yeah, that's Stark Spidey. Um, both of them are good champions. I like Stark Spidey better than I like Stealthy, but Stealthy is also quite good. Uh, gains 15% perfect block chance while Scorpion Sense is active. I probably wouldn't bring them along just for that. Uh, why did it do that? I don't know. All right, and then we've got, uh, Venom and Agent Venom. Uh, he gains a Fury for each Sting debuff on the opponent, increasing attack rating by 10%. 10%, that's nice. It's not a lot, you know, but it'll build up because you're gaining a Fury for every Sting debuff. So if you're putting a lot of Sting debuffs on, you are increasing your attack rating by a lot. So that could be something... I would do, and I love Venom, and I know Agent Venom is also excellent. Um, 
I believe this is the synergy people always talk about with Agent Venom, uh, making Agent Venom a beast. But this is not about Agent Venom. All right. And then we've got these critical rating and perfect block chance. All right. Let's look at his uh, signature ability. While the opponent is inflicted with a taunt, Scorpion can block unblockable special attacks. That can be useful. Scorpion Sense is consumed when the special attack is finished. Uh, this ability does not trigger against skill champions. Okay. The second bullet point here is the one that I found interesting. And against folks that heal, uh, it makes him more sustainable. If the opponent is inflicted with a petrify and they attempt to heal, Scorpion gains a percentage of the health denied them. Each tick of this healing cannot exceed 78.21 health. And this value scales with based health. So you're fighting someone who heals. And you are inflicting them. You put a petrify on them. And now you're healing a little bit. They're not healing, and you're healing a little bit. I like that. But does he need to be awakened? No. He doesn't need to be awakened. So even if he's not awakened, I would say still rank him up to at least three. Now, Scorpion has what is called pre-fight abilities. These are abilities, and we can click that to see, that can be modified before the start of the fight in the pre-fight screen. So before every fight, you'll have the ability to go to this screen and select some of these abilities. And we go here in here uh, into his abilities. So one is poison and uh, the pre-fights are his sting debuffs. OK, so his sting debuffs are damage over time that he inflicts on his medium attacks. Do you remember the synergy where it would add, I think it was with uh, Spider-Ham, on the light attacks. So that means he has a chance with that synergy on every attack, mediums and lights. Very nice, okay? Um, so normally, without the synergy, his medium attacks um, will inflict these sting debuffs. The default is poison, but he can choose between shock and rupture. So the poison deals direct damage over time and reduces health. Shock does energy damage, rupture, physical damage. Okay. The poison is the one that has the health reduction with which is typical in this game of poisons. That's what poisons do. Uh, on every fight entry, Scorpion gains an immunity to the damage over time effect he did not select with his pre-fight. Shock and Rupture are immune by default. Okay? So bear that in mind. He can gain an immunity to poison or shock. Uh, poison and shock. Let me see. Shock and Rupture. Poison, shock, poison, rupture. Um, we'll look at his uh, pre-fight ability before we go into Realm of Legends. But this is... Very, very nice. It gives him flexibility with his immunities. Very nice. Okay, so going into a fight that you know you need poison immunity, you can choose that. You need shock immunity, you can choose that. You need rupture, rupture immunity, which I haven't seen too much, you can use that. Uh, the poison and shock uh, I've found more useful. And if you look at my video on Hulkling, he is poison shock immune. So now Scorpion can be poison shock immune um, if he needs to be. All right. If the opponent triggers a special attack while suffering from his personal sting debuffs, inflict a burst of sting debuff damage per stack of sting debuff. Now, one of the reasons that I like playing Scorpion is because it seems like I just have to fight like I normally would fight. And he's going to get sting debuffs. With Spider-Ham, for example, who I also like, I have to kind of do a medium light medium, but it doesn't look like I have to do that with this guy. 
just got to do mediums, you know, so just do my regular medium, light, 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 medium attacks. I could do a medium, light, medium if I want to, um, but I like it. I like it. He seems to be pretty straightforward. Now, he has this scorpion sense. When the opponent evades or at the end of their special attacks, scorpion gains a non-stacking scorpion sense passive, granting 20% chance to evade for 15 seconds. You know, when I'm fighting him, it seems like it's 100% chance, but 20% chance. When Scorpion Sense expires, it goes on cooldown for 10 seconds. So this is not something you want to rely on. It's nice when it happens, but don't rely on it. Uh, when an evade would trigger, Scorpion inflicts a sting debuff. On a successful evade, Scorpion counterattacks. Consume Scorpion Sense and inflicts a burst of sting debuff damage. I like this. I like the fact that it does it automatically. So when this happens, you don't have to rely on your own speed in reaction. It's going to happen. Uh, this damage scales with base attack only. Uh, evade does not trigger it while blocking. So if you're going to try to block, don't worry about it. It's not going to trigger. But if you fail to block or if you're not blocking, I still wouldn't recommend doing that and relying on this. Uh, as a defender, he gains Scorpion Sense every 15 seconds unless the attacker reaches their current combo count plus 20 combos by the end of this duration. Reaching the targeted combo count removes any existing spider, uh, Scorpion Sense, I keep saying Spider Sense, uh, and triggers its cooldown. Now, we know that medium attacks put sting debuffs, and if we have a synergy we can get sting debuffs on light. Here's what happens with heavies. You can charge your heavy attack and it grants a torment charge, okay? However, holding the heavy attack grants a torment charge every 0.4 seconds. So you can hold it and you'll start gaining these charges. Uh, I don't recommend trying to do that unless the opponent is stunned because they're gonna come over and hit you. Uh, landing a heavy attack converts all charges into torment debuffs, and we'll do that. Landing a special attack one or two while charging converts one extra debuff per charge. So that means you charge the heavy and then launch your special attack while you're charging your heavy. So you can, you can uh, do it a couple of ways, I guess. If you're really good at timing, you could do that, and then when you see the opponent charging, intercept with your special. Or you can parry, charge your heavy, and then fire your special. Uh, torment debuffs last for 10 seconds, but pause during specials and causes all damaging debuffs to last one second longer. So that's going to give it extra damage. All right, here's his special attacks. The first special attack. Uh, in, uh, each hit inflicts a sting debuff. This effect has a 50% chance to go through block. Very nice. So even if the AI is speedy in their recovery, which we're having a problem right now with the AI doing that, uh, you still have a chance to inflict some stings. Uh, the final hit inflicts a taunt for 12 seconds, reducing attack rating. But you also know what taunt does. Reduces attack rating and increases chance to activate a special by 70%. Okay. Uh, if the opponent fails to launch a special attack before the taunt debuff expires, Scorpion inflicts a non-stacking suppression debuff, reducing combat power rate by 25% for 12 seconds. I would like to see a lot more of this type of thing where the taunt has a punish component to it. I would love to see that because sometimes you'll put a taunt on them and the AI still won't throw their special even with the increase. So I would love to see more punishment for not firing the special in time. That would be wonderful. All right, special attack two. All sting debuffs are paused for the duration of the special and refreshed by the end of it. Very nice. Final hit inflicts two bursts of sting debuff damage per sting debuff on the opponent and also inflicts a petrify. This is where you get your petrify. And here, reduces ability power rate 
and regeneration rate by the listed percent. Uh, 40% in this case. Uh, it lasts 20 seconds. The Petrify can be inflicted through block. The potency of the Sting debuff bursts are increased by 10% for each stack of Torment. Remember the Torment buffs, uh, debuffs? Converted during this special. So you want to try to get a lot of Torments on your opponent and then fire your nice special too. Preferably, you can do a heavy and cancel the heavy into a special too. And then finally, you have a special three. Inflict the opponent with a stun debuff, stunning the opponent for three seconds. So you don't have a lot of time. You got to rush in there after the special three and inflict 10 torment debuffs that last for 15 seconds. 15 seconds is long enough to build up to another special. While these torments are active, charging heavy grants a fury charge instead of torment. Interesting. Attacking from heavy charge, that's the canceling. Uh, grants a Fury D, uh, buff per charge, max of 20 stacks, increasing attack rating by 791 for 20 seconds. While charging, Torment, while charging, Torment and Fury stacks are paused. That, my friends, is Scorpion. He is fun. Let me let me look real quick at his um tags. So he is metal. So you don't want to go fighting Magneto. Um, man, so many champions are metal. But anyway, uh, let's go into Realm of Legends and play around with him a little bit. I'll try to showcase some of the things that we read uh, about, uh, and we'll see. We'll see what I can do. All right, so be right back. Okay, let's have some fun. Only going in with Scorpion by himself. None of those fun synergies that we saw earlier. All right. Let me turn this down a little bit so you guys don't get a lot of echo. Now, I'm I'm excited because I don't get a chance to use Scorpion that often because he's uh, usually on defense. All right. So we've got some poisons on him. Okay. Here's the heavy attack charge. You can see the torment. Okay, so let's go a little bit more. He got a little burst of uh, damage there. Got another little burst. Loving it. Okay, come on. Okay, there's another Torment. All right, let's fire up that special three. See what it look like. And there's the stun. Woo! It's a nice uh, stun there. All right, let's do a special one. And you can see that the um, torments were paused. Okay, they're gone now, but he's still taking damage because I got a lot of poisons on him. Look at that. Loving it. Okay, we're going to get that special two off. Come on. Look at that. He's just killing himself. Loving it. All right. Stop. Bam. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Ooh. There we go. Mmm. And see, that Petrify, if he was healing, I'd be healing. He is just so much fun. Let's get him with another special, uh, too. Mm. And then he fires his special and hurts himself even more. Can't be mad about that. Let's get him with another special one. Get some more of those on there. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Woohoo! And down. 
See, I have a lot of fun. Now, I am running the damage mastery, so the damage is a little bit inflated. And, of course, I was taking damage uh, from the recoil. Um, but he is fun. Had I gotten a rank 5 gem that was science, it would have been between him and Quicksilver. I probably would have gone with Quicksilver barely. But it would have been between these two. And sadly, they're both usually on defense. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for the video. Thank you all for watching. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. It does help me grow. Uh, feel free to share this video with anybody you know that is trying to learn a little bit more about uh, Scorpion, if you think this will help. All right, so take care, and you all have a blessed day.